How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and I'm here with ASICS Pro, Ben True. Now Ben, you have had quite the career. You've been running for 15 years, excelling on both the track and the road. But if we go back to the start in 2009, shoes were a little bit different back then. Fast forward now to 2023, we've got super shoes. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the transition from those early days now to the super shoes that we have? Yeah, it's, it's remarkable. Um, I mean, earlier on in my career, the philosophy was the lighter the shoe, the better. Um, actually here in Boston, I set the American 5K road record and the shoe that I wore was basically a sock. Um, it, I think it weighed under three ounces um, and I felt every single crack of the road as I was running and probably my uh, calves were completely destroyed uh, after that 5K. Come to today with, with these super shoes, with these nice soft foams, um, it's a completely different world um, and it's pretty remarkable um, just the how you, your legs feel. Um, you don't really feel any of the cracks of the road anymore. Um, and just how your running style has changed and how the whole industry has changed is, is absolutely remarkable. Yeah, and we talk about that bouncy, responsive feel, really that, that super experience. And that goes into the performance side, but maybe can you tell us a little bit more about the recovery side of shoes? You know, you've been running for about 15 years. Maybe we'll get another 15 years <laughs> from these shoes. Yeah, no, it's, it's remarkable. Um, I mean, doing a long run in, in some of the lightweight flats of the past day, um, you know, your legs would be really beat up afterwards. Um, doing the same workouts in a super shoe, um, whether it be a plated or unplated, like the Super Blast, um, really helps recover the legs a lot faster. Uh, the big thing also with the spikes, um, spikes of old were just a plastic hard sheet uh, with spikes on it and nothing else um, and I would barely be able to walk after doing hard track sessions um, and I'd be very beat up. Now um, it's remarkable how soft and, and you can do more and more uh, reps in spikes and not have to worry about the same Achilles issues and the same issues that I had before. So you're talking a little bit about the reps for maybe a speed day and we talk super shoes a lot for racing but People are starting to use them a little bit more for workouts. Can you tell us, have you used some super shoes for workouts and what are some key workouts for you leading into a big marathon? Yeah, um, so the thing, the big thing is with super shoes, super shoes are faster. So um, it takes a little bit to almost translate workouts now between super shoe workouts and non-super shoe workouts. Um, and so a lot of times if I wanna have um, like a B-level workout where I'm not really going all out, um, I'll put the super shoes on and run non-super shoe times um, and it just you know feels a little bit easier on the body uh, doing it that way. And what might a non-super shoe time be for someone like you? <laughs> well it depends on the, depends on the, the run uh, but uh, yeah the, the, uh, like marathon training um, the super shoes have definitely helped significantly. Uh, been able to do a lot more 20 plus mile runs um, with, with efforts in them that um, before I just, my muscles would have been just too beat up from doing that on the road. And yeah, I'd really had to have done that on grass or on dirt instead, um, but just not being able to go as fast. Uh, but not going as fast, you don't have the same neurologic um, patterning in the same stride as you would when you have to actually go fast on, on, on a race day. So being able to put it all together with the super shoes uh, definitely helped. So we've talked carbon plated marathon shoes, super spikes, and then the non plated super shoes now. Can you tell us a little bit about your lineup and what it looks like uh, from you know race day to workouts? Yeah, so I usually um, run in a lot of shoes. Um, I'm a big fan of always changing shoes up. Um, so my daily drivers are always the Nimbus and the Nova Blast. Um, and then the Cumulus fits in there every now and then. Um, Cumulus is actually my treadmill running shoe for some reason. I don't know, but that's the only shoe I'll it's run on the treadmill with. that reliable comfort. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then uh, for a lot of long runs or um, some of the workouts, I'll change into the Super Blast. Um, and it's only a few workouts I really want to try to pinpoint that I'll put the Super Shoes on. Uh, mostly I, I'll save those for the races. And Super Spikes, I know we've talked mm -hmm. about this. You know, you had a fantastic track career, but Spikes not that long ago were basically nothing. Now you can have that spike feel, but with just a little bit more substance. Yeah, um, doing workouts in spikes. Um, before, I would rarely ever put spikes on for a workout other than running maybe a few 200s um, because it would beat my body up so much. Uh, now I can do any type of track workout I want in spikes without any issues. 
being a marathon guy, especially training for this in the wintertime in New England, I haven't been on the track for a very long time. Uh, it has just melted off, so uh, we'll see this spring. Uh, but, you know, that's helped out a lot. Uh, before running a 10K, you always knew, for, you know, three days after running a 10K and spikes on the track, you're gonna have terrible legs. Uh, with the super shoes, you feel great the next day. You're just tired from racing, um, but you don't have the same beating up of the legs, so it's been great. Yeah. Well, it's so exciting whether we're talking about track super spikes, the carbon plated shoes for marathon day, and even these new non plated shoes like the super blast. There's so many different applications of the super foam to make running feel easier. Yeah. It's an exciting time to be in the running shoe space. <laughs> and if you're looking to get any of these shoes on your feet, you can find them at Running Warehouse.